Hello students, welcome back to this next session of mathematics for second semester students. In this session, I am continuing with the application part that is the last part of your uh, differential equation. Okay, where and all you can apply it. Of course, there are so many places, so many real world um, situations where even you can use your differential equations. But for instance, in your syllabus, it's given to be uh, the spring, the fixed spring, vibration of a spring. Okay, and also LCR circuit. So here I have come up with one problem from your model question paper. The problem states something like this. The differential equation of the displacement of the spring fixed at upper end and a weight at its lower end is given by this equation. 10 into d square y by d square x by dt square plus dx by dt plus 200x is equal to 0. Okay. The weight is pulled down 0.25 centimeters below the equilibrium position and released. So, I can say that there is some fixed this here and the spring is fixed here at one end. Say this is spring. At the other end, there is some load to it, given to it. Okay. And this load is been pulled to 0.25 centimeters. Okay. This is at the equilibrium position initially, but later uh, it has been pulled to 0.25 centimeters below the equilibrium position and released. It has been released. Find the expression for the displacement of the weight from its equilibrium position at any time t during its first upward motion. So, obviously, this is a spring when you pull it and release it. Obviously, will it will vibrate. It will be an harmonic motion appearing there. So, uh, you can apply differential equations for that. Framing a differential equation for the exact equation like that, I'll teach you in my class. But for now, as you see, this is a differential equation. And you see, this given differential equation looks like a homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients. And you all know very well how to solve with it. Okay. Give, equation is directly given to you. There is no need to frame it. But if in case, if you want to really learn how to frame such an equation uh, on your own way, exactly learning the situation, uh, the real world situation and then frame a differential equation that is also very simple and easy. We will discuss that in our class. Okay. So, for instance, this has been given from your model question paper. The equation is directly given to you. They are not asking you to frame the equation and solve. They have given the equation directly. Let us solve it. Okay. So, what they have said you, the weight, huh? yes, the weight is pulled down 0.25 centimeters below the equilibrium position and released. Yes. Find the expression for the displacement of the weight from its equilibrium position at any time t during its first upward motion. So, you have to express the displacement that is x is called to be the displacement here. The distance I can say. Suppose it has been uh, displaced. Okay. Uh, the displacement and then it goes back because it is a harmonic motion. So, you will have the displacement I am going to it to call to be x and the equation is given to be something like this. So, the given equation can be written in this way. Yes, 10 d square plus d plus 200 x is equal to 0. Right? Yes. So, let us work for the solution of this. This looks like a homogeneous uh, linear differential equation because the right hand side there is no a function. There is no function of t here because the variable it is t. So, there is no function of t here. It is completely 0. So, you can write easily say that it is a homogeneous linear differential equation. Write the auxiliary equation for this. What should be the auxiliary equation? It should be m square, sorry, 10m square plus m plus 200 is equal to 0. Or what should be m here? m is as per the rule minus 1. Use the formula minus 1 because the value for b here is minus 1, uh, sorry, b, uh, 1. So minus b. So what's the formula for that? I'll write it here minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. So, it is b is equals 1 is equals to 1. So, minus b you are having. So, minus 1 plus or minus b square becomes plus 1 whole square. Okay. So, it is 4 into 10 into 200 4 ac divided by 2 times 10. Or when you simplify this minus 1 plus or minus root of. See here it becomes minus 7999 9, 9, because it is 4 into 2, 800, 800 into 10, 8000, 8000 minus 1 becomes minus 7999 9, 9, and root of that divided by 20 you are having. Okay. So, first work for the real part. See here because it is root of minus root 7999. Uh, 9, 9, 9. So, what you are going to do? First find the value for 1 by 20. 
वन बाई ट्वेंटी इज माइनस पॉइंट जीरो माइनस पॉइंट जीरो फाइव प्लस ऑफ माइनस नाउ रूट ऑफ माइनस वन यू गेट आई नाउ रूट ऑफ सेवन नाइन नाइन इज रूट ऑफ सेवन नाइन नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी इफ यू डू जस्ट वर्क आउट इन योर कैलसी यू विल गेट इट टू बी फोर पॉइंट फाइव इट इज एक्चुअली यू आर गेटिंग रूट ऑफ सेवन नाइन 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 डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी यू आर गेटिंग इफ यू वर्क फॉर दिस इट विल बी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन समथिंग लाइक दिस सो आई हैव अप्रॉक्सीमेटेड एंड टेकन इट एज फोर पॉइंट फाइव ओके प्लीज चेक इट यू कैन जस्ट वर्क फॉर दिस वैल्यू फ्रॉम योर कैलसी ओके जस्ट वर्क फ्रॉम योर कैलसी यू गेट दिस वैल्यू सो यू गॉट योर एम टू बी माइनस पॉइंट जीरो फाइव प्लस ऑफ माइनस आई फोर पॉइंट फाइव ओके नाउ सो वॉट शुड बी द सोल्यूशन वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू x is equal to it should be in terms of t because d d square x by dt square is given to you so what should be x it should be e to the power minus point zero five t c one cos four point five t plus 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 c two साइन फोर पॉइंट फाइव टी दिस शुड बी द सोल्यूशन सो यू हैव एक्सप्रेस द यू हैव गॉट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द डिसप्लेसमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी बट वी नीड टू वर्क फॉर दीज कॉन्स्टेंट विद दिस गिवन इनिशियल कंडीशन वॉट इज बैड वॉट इज दैट द वेट इज पुल डाउन टू पॉइंट टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स बिलो द इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन एंड रिलीज सो एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो योर एक्स इज the displacement given to it was 0.25 cm or i can say x is equal to 1 by 4 if i say right if you put t is at time t is equal to 0 this is the value for x let us consider that initially so this is happening initially so what should be x let us substitute the value of x over here in this equation so x is 1 by 4 when t is equal to सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ कोर्स हियर सो वन बाय फोर सेंटीमीटर्स इज इक्वल टू यू आर पुटिंग t is equal to 0 means e to the power 0 it becomes 1 C one cos of four point five into zero cos zero it becomes so it will be one plus C two sine of four point five into t t is again zero so that becomes uh, zero so it will be C one into one plus C two into zero you will have or you get the value for C one as one by four this is the value for C one one by four okay after this yes and it is been released okay. We will work for d d x by d t from here. Just one minute. Now we will work for. We have got x is equal to e to the power minus point zero five t c one cos four point five t plus c two sine four point five t. Is it? Now we will work for d x by d t. Let us see the velocity. Okay. So d x by d t. It will be minus point zero five into e to the power minus zero derivative of first the exponential term. Keep the bracket as it is. C one cos four point five t plus C two sine four point five t. Okay, keep the bracket as it is. Plus keep the exponential term as it is. U into v rule we are doing. Differentiate the bracket. Derivative of cos is minus sine C one sine point four point five t. Plus derivative of sine, which is cos, and of course four point five will come here. One minute. Mm -hmm. I do not have enough space. One minute. So differentiate the bracket here. So it is minus derivative of cos. It is minus four point five c one sine four point five t plus four point five c two cos four point five t. So this is going to be the derivative of the bracket. Okay. Now, when t is equal to zero, there is no motion, there is no velocity. So your dx by dt is also zero. Initially, when t is equals to zero, see here it is given. The weight is pulled down 0.25 centimeters below the equilibrium position and then released. It is pulled down. It is static actually. So when t is equal to zero, we will consider that as the initial time. Okay, at t is equal to zero, your x will. This is the displacement. From your equilibrium position, 
equilibrium equilibrium position was there say so, suppose this is your spring this is the load this is the equilibrium position without any motion in it now i am pulling this load down okay how many 1.1 by 4 cm i will pull it down okay so this load comes here the spring stretches at that time this i will say this to be the time t is equal to 0 at time t is equal to 0 yes the displacement is 1 by 4 cm there is no velocity later it is released after pulling it then it is released so there is no velocity so you can say initially velocity is 0 dx by dt is equal to 0 so when you say that when you put t is equal to 0 in this let us put that so 0 is equals to yes you put t is equal to 0 it is minus 0.05 e to power 0 which is 1 c1 c1 cos of 0 you get which is 1 plus sin 0 it is 0 plus e to power 0 which is 1 then uh, this becomes 0 here sin 0 0 plus 4.5 4.5 sorry into c2 cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so you will have only c2 here okay so let us simplify this further so you are having the equation minus 0.05 c1 plus 4.5 c2 you have the value for c1 which is 1 by 4 if you substitute it here you will get the value for c2 after solving you must get c2 to be minus 0.0 Minus zero point zero zero three. Just put the value for C one as one by four, and separate your C two from there. You will get the value for C two as minus zero point zero zero three. So once you get this value, substitute in the final expression. Okay. So now let us substitute the solution. Um, the values for C one and C two in the expression for x. X is equal to e to power minus point zero five t. What's the C one value? One by four. Cos 4.5t minus what is C2? C2 value is in negative, so it is 0.003 minus 0.003 sine of 4.5t. This is the expression for x at any time t from its equilibrium position. Okay, so this is how we solve this problem. Okay, this is. I hope this is clear. But still, if you have any doubt, you can do ask me in your WhatsApp group. Now here we have one more problem. from uh, lcr circuit okay so this is again from your model question paper only see the current and the charge q in the series containing the inductance l and the capacitance c and the emf e satisfy this differential equation okay express q and i in terms of t given that this l c and e are constants because the inductance capacitance and the given emf emf is constant they are all constant and also it is given that initially the current i and the charge q are initially zero okay so if this is given to you you have to solve this differential equation and express your q and i in terms of t okay let's work for this the given equation can be written as l into d square q by dt square plus q divided by c is equal to e as how will you write it can be written as l d square plus One divided by c of q is equal to e, is it not? I'm just taking that q outside, okay? Now, and I'm replacing that d by dt as capital D. Now let us write the auxiliary equation for this. It becomes L. The auxiliary equation is L into m square plus one by c is equal to zero, or M square is equal to minus one divided by L into C. Is it? Or M is equals to plus or minus I one by root L C. Yes. So these are the roots. If the roots are like this, what should be the what should be the solution? Y C. Sorry, I should say Q C in this case. Your Q C should be the complementary function for this equation. Q C should be uh, the real part is zero, imaginary part is one by uh, root L C. So it will be C one cos one by root L C 
into t plus c2 sin 1 by root lc into t so this is qc now let us work for the particular integral qp so you from where you had written the auxiliary equation from there only i will write my particular integral qp is equal to the right hand side is e e divided by ld square plus 1 by c you will get it like this now make a note it's given already that your emf e is constant so this is constant for you constant divided by ld square plus 1 divided by c you are having so for such a case it's very simple to solve i'll tell you what see you can write this as e to the power 0 into t e into 0 e to the power 0 into t 0 into t is 0 only e to the power 0 is 1 so i can rewrite e into e to the power 0 into t like this here in the numerator so this will be what e is constant however e to the power 0 into t divided by ld square plus 1 by c you are having is it not now you are getting this differential equation with pi of type 1 and whenever you are having this type what you do you replace what is the rule here replace d by a here d is to be replaced by 0 so it will be e e to the power 0 into t divided by when you put d as 0 it will be 0 plus 1 by c so 1 by c you will get okay so when you simplify this further your qp will be e to the power 0 into t is 1 so you get ec e into c it is e divided by 1 divided by c so it will be e into c okay so let us write the final answer now you have found qp as well as qc write the general solution now so the general solution is q is equals to general solution is q is equal to qc plus qp okay you have got your qc to be c1 cos 1 by root lc into t plus c2 sin 1 by root lc into t plus qp was e into c e and c are both constants for you and this was your solution for q now initially both at time at t is equal to 0 it's given that q is equal to 0 so let's put t is equal to 0 Q is zero already. It's given. So when you put t zero, t zero means cos zero. You will get so c one. You get cos zero into c one plus sine zero. It will be zero plus e c. You get or you get c one to be minus e c from this equation. After this, you already know what is i. The current i is d q by d t. The current i is d q by d t. So I want i because it's in the question given that. find the value of q and i in terms of t so for that let us work for dq by dt your q is here let us differentiate this with respect to t you get dq by dt so it will be minus c1 sin 1 by root lc into t into the derivative of 1 by root lc into t derivative of t is 1 but this constant should be written so it will be 1 by root lc over here so it will be like this plus derivative of sin is cos so uh, i'll write already the constant into the cos of 1 by root lc into t plus 0 constant because e and c both are constant so at time t is equal to 0 i is also 0 yes at time t is equal to 0 i is also 0 so when you substitute this in this equation So i is zero. You put t is equal to zero here. This becomes zero plus c two divided by root lc into one plus zero. Now, if you equate or if you simplify, you get c two to be zero c. So you got c one to be minus e c and c two to be zero. So if you do this, you get the value for q as. I'll write the final answer q here. So you get the value for q as. Q is equals to You have got c1 as minus e c cos 1 by root l c into t. C2 is zero plus e c you get. Okay, or you can take e c common and write it as one minus cos 1 by root l c into t or t divided by root l c. This is your q at any time t. 
Now let us do the same substitution for i. The i value it is given to be c1 uh, it is given to be minus ec. c2 is given to be 0. So you get the value for i as minus ec divided by root lc. You can even cancel that one of the root c by that and sine of t divided by root of lc. No other constant, nothing. So this should be the solution. Okay. So further you can simplify it i as uh, minus e root c divided by root l. Okay. Mm, you can keep it like that. Okay. Sine of t divided by root lc. Because you can write uh, the above c as root c into root c. One root c will get cancelled from the denominator and you will get the solution. So these are the two values for your i. This is your q. Q and I in terms of T. Hence the solution. Okay. So continue in my next session with uh, the next module. This completes your module. But still if I can find some more problems uh, from other question papers. I will come back with that. Okay. Thank you.